Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and for the month of March normally I would be doing my 12 month scrapbook challenge and then also a Cricut cartridge series but this time I'm not going to do that, I'm going to combine them. We're going to make a mini album. So I kind of went back and forth. I was going to do a mini album, a shaped mini album using my Gypsy, designing it on my Gypsy and I'm still going to use the Cricut um, but I'm not going to use it for the shape of my mini album. I'm just going to go ahead and use some regular chipboard. So I have my big package of medium weight chipboard. I'm just going to open it up and we're going to start getting our pages ready. You can do this on your, your Gypsy. You can design a, um, you know, a shaped album if you want to by, you know, just layering a couple pieces of poster board or a couple pieces of a nice thick cardstock and you can make that as your page. And then using your pattern paper to make your um, your you know the page, to cover your pages, so I'm just gonna pull out. Um, I think I need two pieces of medium weight chipboard. This is 12 by 12 medium weight chipboard, and I'm going to make my album. I think I'm gonna go with a four by six album. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chipboard at 12 inches, and I'm using my Fiskars trimmer here, and. I'm still getting used to this. I, f I do have feel like I have to push kind of hard to get it. And when you're using your uh, chipboard, you want to, you have to go over it a couple of times. So there we go. One thing I do like about this, compared to my other one, which was my X-Acto, this is um, much cleaner edge when you cut. So we're going to do, I'm going to go with six pages. I usually end up with only making a five page mini album. But I do go it for six because I always end up messing up on one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my other my other pages here. So this will be page one. Here we go. You know, I found that if I'm standing up, I can cut better. So, all right, those are our first three pages. And let me just go ahead and trim my other three pages. All right, so that is our four by six album. I'm doing six pages. One of these is a little bit longer. Actually, I have two of these that are longer, so let me trim this down a little bit. I don't know why that... Alright, so that's that one, and i got to trim this one too. There we go. Alright, so that's our six pages. That was just one 12 by 12 piece of medium weight chipboard. You don't have chip, medium weight chipboard. Um, like I said, you can layer a couple pieces of poster board, a couple pieces of thick card stock. You could do that. You can um, chipboard, you can also use cereal boxes for your chipboard. You want to layer those as well because they're kind of thin. I personally like my album's pages to be thick so they um, are, you know, pretty sturdy. So now I'm going to go ahead and I picked out five different patterns of my Blast Off Blast Off Bow Bunny paper and I'm missing one piece. I think it's mixed in with the other papers. Where is it? Alright. I'm not sure where it is. It's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Our other one. So I just have to trim the edge off of this one. You're going to need 10 pieces of, well if you're doing a 6x6 six six album you're going to need 12 pieces of your pattern paper. So I have five pages picked out. I need to pick out one more page. 
So these are our pages. I picked out five because they're double sided. So if you're doing single sided, you're going to need 12 different patterns. So these are the papers I'm going to use, and they're going to measure six by four. Let me pull out one more piece, and I'm going to go with, since everything I'm doing is pretty dark color there, I want to get a little bit of a, a lighter pattern. So let me see. I'm going to go with these stars right here. So I'm going to trim this down to six inches. So you need six pieces of double-sided paper. And we're going to trim these down to four inches. And one thing I love about this Fisker trimmer, I could take all six pieces, put it in here, and we're going to... So that's one set. And then what we'll do is the back side of these, and we're going to cut these out at four inches. And there we go. So that is our 12 pieces of pattern paper. Very, very simple. And now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and put these pages together. We're going to take our six pages and I'm going to use this Scotch Quick Dry glue. I got it a while ago on clearance. Actually, I got it at Big Lots a while ago. And I think the reason why these were at Big Lots is because they don't make the four ounce bottles anymore. They went smaller. I think that's why. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't seen bottles this size. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just add my adhesive right to the back or to my chipboard rather and I'm going to put it on and get your brayer out if you have one because you're going to use your brayer to put your paper down and I'm not worried too much about the chipboard sticking out or anything like that I like to flip mine over and put roll my brayer on the opposite side because the glue always comes out on the sides and then I end up rolling my brayer over the top of it and it gets all over my pages and that will help me prevent it from getting on my pages. I'm just going to pull out my little craft sheet too to work on. So I'm going to set this one aside, let that one side dry and I'll go ahead and start doing my other ones. So I am going to prepare to do six pages. Like I said, sometimes if it's too thick, my mini album is getting really, really thick, I'll just go with five pages or I mess up on a page, which that happens a lot, or I end up not liking it. And don't worry if your cardstock doesn't, if your pattern paper line, you know, kind of goes over the edge a little bit, we'll trim that off later with our, um, craft knife and I'm just wiping off some of this glue that came off on the sides. I'll probably speed this up a little bit so you guys can you don't get bored watching me do all 12 of these. See, I got glue. That's why I like to do the adhesive on the opposite side. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these and we'll be back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I have all of my pages covered. I did front and back and you can see I didn't really line up too good on this piece on the chipboard, but I'm not concerned. I'm going to be inking that. So I'm just going to pull out my dirty old trusty X-Acto glass mat and I'm going to be using 
or not exacto, EK Success. Um, and I'm going to be using an exacto knife to trim off some of these things because you can see there's some pieces that are just kind of hanging off. So I'm just going to trim those off. And I'm going to do that to all of my pieces. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use um, my sanding tool, which is by Basic Gray, to trim off or to kind of smooth out the edges. So you may not have to do all of them. Some of them you can you're going to be able to get with your sander or your file rather. So you just kind of have to eyeball and look and see you know what pages need to be trimmed up. I think this one's pretty good. Some of them are hanging over a lot so you have to kind of you do have to use your exacto knife to fix that up. So, okay, that looks pretty good. So this is one I was totally I went to crooked. The one thing about the quick dry adhesive is you have to get it on there right the first time, or you end up ruining ruining your page. So, but like I said, I'm not concerned. I am inking up those edges. You can even paint the edges. I've done that on a mini album. I think it was my Halloween mini album. I painted the edges with some black black acrylic paint. So, all right, so that is our pages trimmed. Let me just get my mat, my glass mat out of the way. This is the file I use, and it's by Basic Gray. I got this, this, this one came from Hobby Lobby. I got it a while ago. I bought a second one because my uh, files are getting really well used. So anyway, um, I just go ahead and file down the edges, and I just don't have to really go over a lot of them, but I go over and just make sure that my edges are all nice and smooth, and I'm going to do that to all six of my pages. This one you don't really have to do too much. That's the one that was kind of short on the one side. So you can see where it peels off the pieces that punch right here. So I'm just kind of going down with my paper. I'm not going up because if you go up you're gonna mess up your pages. You're gonna peel it off the the um chipboard and you don't want that to happen. That's the piece right here. So you're just gonna go ahead and do all six of these and I'm not gonna do all of them on camera but I'm just gonna show you what to do next, and then we're going to go ahead and bind. So, and this of course makes a lot of dust. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these, and we'll be right back and I'll show you the next step. Alright, I cleaned up my mess, because I had a mess. It was a pretty big one too. Um, that creates a lot of dust, so now my head's all stuffy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead now and start inking the edges. I'm just going to use a Distress ink pad. I'm going to use, uh, this is Barn Door, and I'm going to go right from the pad to my pages. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink up all of the edges to this. And I'm going to do all six of these, both sides. And it, while I'm doing this, it's also covering up my chipboard. I like to do the edges too because I don't like those raw edges to be sticking out. So go ahead and do all six of your, your boards, or five, or however many pages you decided you were going to do. And I'm not really being too careful. I don't care really how the ink comes out um, on the pages. I want it to be kind of messy because it is an album for for Ethan. We're gonna I'm gonna put some baby pictures and stuff in here. I just have to kind of pick out the pictures I want to use. So, anywho, oh, um, I did want to tell you guys that when you're filing, if you don't have one of those files, just use a nail file. That'll work uh, just as well, and you'll get the same same effect. It'll make your edges nice and smooth. You won't have any uh, kind of wrinkled up paper or anything like that. So, 
I don't think I've ever used this barn door. I like it. I like the color. It's a nice rich red. That's my cell phone beeping. See, what I like is if I don't get it, the pages all covered, especially if I'm using like a dark color like this, it'll still pick up that red color. So, and I really, you know, this is kind of a messy, going to be a kind of a messy album. And it's going to be, I think it's going to come out pretty cool. I kind of have an idea of what we're going to do, but I'm not really 100% yet. So once we get this done, we're going to go ahead and bind. And I got um, I got a cinch for Christmas, and I've used it once for a project I was working on. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to use it. It's really nice. I really like it compared to the bind it all. I like the bind it all, but you know what? I never used it. I didn't like how it punched out. I had felt like I was harder to use and try to figure out which way to put the pages and stuff like that. So, all right, I have all of my I have ink all over me. All of my albums pages done. So I'm going to leave these to dry a little bit so they don't get too smeared because distressing takes a little bit of time to dry. Okay everybody, so the next thing we're going to do is work with our cinch. And my battery is about to die on my camera so hopefully we'll get through this without um, any problems. But this is the cinch. It's a great binding system. It's by um, We Are Memory Keepers. I love it. It's so easy to use. Um, I decided that I'm going to bind my album going on the 4 inch side. So if you just look at this little chart here, you look for your inches and we're going to do 4 inch and it put, says to pull pegs number 8 and up. So we're going to pull all of these pegs out. This would be 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And then we put our uh, page right in here and just push down so easy and look how nice it cuts. I don't feel like I get as well of a cut with my bind it all. So I'm going to go ahead and do all six pages and since they're pretty thick I'm just going to do one page at a time. It doesn't take a lot of effort to um, bind or to punch the holes. It's really 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 simple. So that's it. Alright I just wanted to show you this cinch and I'm sorry I have to cut this short because my battery is dying. I've got like two minutes left before the battery dies completely. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, and we'll start putting our book together. Bye!